Welcome to part three. We're going to try and create an electric piano that's simple and cheap. This is going to be a compromise, but we'll solve the issues as we create them. So previously we created a hammer and a key and a key support. So for this video, we're going to use some spare Fender Rhodes parts to build a really basic but one key piano. The object here is to create the basic functional key and then we can replace parts as we try and come up with a complete design. When creating something, it's often a good idea to start with something that already works and improve upon it. And then each small change, you can measure and compare the difference and it allows you to understand what everything does. So the spare parts we're going to use are a tine and tone bar assembly. And I've created a wooden support for this to attach to the rig. This is a tone generator assembly from a Fender Rhodes. It consists of a tine and this is a swage steel cantilever steel rod. On there there's a spring and the position of this allows the tuning to be adjusted. The tone bar is a heavier bar that runs parallel to the tine, creating a non-symmetrical tuning fork. The tone bar does not need to match the frequency exactly at the tine, but it does help to be close to it. The function of the tone bar is to help keep the tine oscillating in one plane and also to give sustain to the nut. We're also going to use an electric pickup from a Fender Rhodes. This is used to generate the electrical signal that can be then amplified. This works by having a magnet surrounded by a coil of copper wire. When the tine moves, the magnetic field follows this movement. This creates a magnetic field that moves through the, the coil. And due to electromagnetism, a small current is generated. I've created a support for the pickup and set this at an approximate height. I've used a Fender Rhodes hammer tip and this allows us to have quite a sharp attack to the nut. So to help keep testing easier, I'm going to add a little jack to allow the audio to quickly be output to an external source. I have 3D printed a jack socket bracket. A couple of Cockerdale clips can then wire up this design. Okay, let's plug it in. Okay, so yeah, let's make a nice... How does this compare to the Fender Rhodes note? It's similar. I've adjusted the heights of the components to some degree from the last video. And as the design progresses, we'll update this further. I'm not sure we can really play a song with just one note. But yeah, I'm quite happy with the progress here. Um, I was going to leave this one as a short update video. Uh, watch out for the next one. Thank you.